time to suit up. The largest moving Gundam robot called Mobile Suit is being built in Japan and will be open to the public on October 1st in celebration of 40 years of Gundam. This is New Technology Today, bringing you the hottest tech innovations straight to your screen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself up to date. The impact of the Gundam franchise on popular culture cannot be overstated. Gundam is arguably the most popular of the mecha genre, though you can find many Gundam-like robots in countless anime, such as Neon Genesis Evangelion and Eureka 7. The franchise is best known for its emphasis on warfare, something that other anime in the robot genre didn't really focus on until Gundam. Since its premiere in 1979, Yoshiyuki Tomino's Gundam series has left an incredible mark on Japanese culture and the world of animation. Its giant samurai-influenced sword-fighting mecha robots have launched nearly 50 official TV series and movies and inspired countless others. Transformers, Pacific Rim, Real Steel, Voltron, Megabots, anything with a big robot in it owes some debt to Gundam. Indeed, even the Master Chief's armor in the Halo series of video games. Its impact is so great, Gundam is currently ranked as the 14th highest grossing media franchise of all time. Gundam remains popular worldwide even today, and it is even more popularized by the hundreds of classic Gundam models with varying sizes and features based on the show. Not to mention, the hobby of building a Gundam plastic model is extremely addicting. You start with one completed model on your shelf, and soon you'll have 20 more. Eventually, it becomes an out-of-control collection that you and your house guests can appreciate. Some Japanese engineers took it a little further, though. Earlier this year, Gundam Factory Yokohama announced plans to debut a 60-foot-tall Gundam robot on October 1st, 2020. Japan takes its robot seriously, and to prove it, a team is working on a full-sized, fully working Gundam robot. The robot is being constructed to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the hit anime series Mobile Suit Gundam. The factory plans to bring the iconic RX-78-2 robot to life in a vast public attraction by the port of Yokohama. The port of Yokohama will play host to a colossal walking Gundam robot for a year starting this October. It will be the most advanced fully sized Gundam ever built, and the engineering challenge of making it work is enormous. The robot will be 18 meters tall and supported by a realistic Gundam dock that is 25 meters high. Just like in the animated series, the dock will act as a maintenance site. The giant Gundam will be built in Yokohama's Gundam factory, an expensive facility that covers 9,000 square meters, as reported by the Japan Times. The Gundam dock will allow tourists to climb and get near the mobile suit and possibly even enter the robot. The mobile suit has 24 fully functioning joints, which means it will be able to move. How it will move is still a mystery that will be revealed on the opening day of the Gundam factory. Encircled by what appears to be a mobile frame, the enormous robot will weigh some place in the order of 25 tons, creating it much, much bigger than the average industrial robot. This means that providing it 24 degrees of motion and certainly making it walk, which a team is intending to do, will stretch the boundaries of common motor resources and actuator technologies. The hands, each measuring 2 meters or 6.5 feet tall, and feature entirely articulated fingers and thumbs. Since it will be attached on rotating wrists with moving elbows and shoulders, each hand's mass, inclusive of all cabling, motors, and bodywork, needs to be kept below 200 kilograms to make sure the motors higher up the chain can perform reliably. A difficult task. It's hard to think of the stresses and balancing that come into scene when this gigantic hunk of metal moves its weight onto one leg to take a step. The robot is being developed deploying the open source robot operating system and Gazebo simulation software, and the team is issuing a full-scale virtual copy of the robot that aiming programmers can play with to develop their own poses and actions. This involves accurate representation of the gears, motors, and sensors used on the actual machine. So, in concept, the fan-made set of actions could be uploaded to the actual robot at some point. Not that this is presently part of the plan. While construction on this epic mech was initially delayed by COVID-19, it seems that things are back on schedule. The most noticeable update to the previous model is a new beam saber that Gundam is holding in his right hand, and that starts glowing in the night. 
And just recently, the Mobile Suit Gundam has taken its very first steps. The Japanese engineers have created the biggest flex known to the robotics world. Crowds were understandably fixated as a robot lifted and powered its leg in testing for its real deal debut later this year. The footage appears to be sped up, so it's unclear how long the procedure took. While the robot managed to raise its right leg, it doesn't appear to be putting any weight on it, meaning this was likely just a test for future walks. What can you say about this massive Gundam robot? Share me your thoughts by leaving a comment down below so I can talk about it with you in the first hour. The future is really exciting. Find out in my related video everything you need to know about cognitive computing, a system that uses machine learning techniques to perform specific human-like tastes in an intelligent way. Stay connected. Stay up to date.